All right, so we are testing the suspension in both C8s because the orange C8 has the uh, the magnetic ride control, whereas the gray one does not because it wasn't uh, it wasn't available at the time we ordered. And so, um, obviously, everybody has an opinion about it. I'm not here to try to start an argument or tell people what they should and shouldn't get. I'm just telling you what I can notice. And so right now we're in the uh, ceramic matrix gray C8 uh, and I've been going for about five minutes, anywhere between 20 miles an hour all the way up to 50 miles an hour. And we've been purposefully hitting uh, those like manhole things and stuff to try to get a feel for how this car reacts to those sort of things. And then right after, we're gonna go grab the orange C8 and we are going to do the exact same ride that we're doing right now and and see if uh, I can notice a difference at all and, and if I really have a preference. Um, because we're still trying to figure out and decide which car we wanna keep. I like this red interior a lot on this gray car. I like it better than the uh, Sky Cool Gray, but at the same time, I like the exterior of the, the gray car a lot. I love the red calipers and the new wheels and stuff. So, I don't know. We're going to see uh, see kind of what we feel. Uh, obviously, right now, we're first in the gray one. I don't have an opinion as of yet because I've only taken this one on this specific uh, way, I guess. And so, now we're going to go hop into the orange one and see if we can tell a difference or not. All right, so now we are in the uh, orange C8 Corvette, which does have the magnetic ride control. And I figured uh, I, I figured the different settings probably like change the suspension a little bit. And so uh, I've done this same, I did the, the same road course, I guess you could say, um, in Z mode. And then I also did it in uh, just regular touring mode. Um, and I'm kind of finishing up here in a sec. And so what I kind of noticed is the bigger bumps uh, are, are noticeable for sure in both cars. But I would say that the magnetic ride control probably makes like the bumps seem just not as big as they normally are in some of the really, really tiny ones. Uh, you almost don't even notice it. But again, it's hard to tell because I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not a professional driver or anything like that. Um, and, I, and I don't know if it's all just in my head, right? Like I want to justify, oh, magnetic ride control is worth it. I notice that bumps are uh, less apparent and they are not as bad when you have it versus not having it. And to be honest, I, I don't fully know. Um, I feel like the bumps might not be as big with magnetic ride control, but again, it is super, super hard to tell. And I might have to be on like a really long road trip or something like that to really put both cars to the test, which I'm not gonna do because I'm getting rid of one of them. Uh, but I don't think that, for, for me, doing this like little course that where I go anywhere between 20 and 50 miles an hour and purposefully hit these manholes and experience some of the bumps that are in the road and stuff, uh, it's, it's not that big of a difference. But I do think I can tell a little bit with the orange one that it does have something that makes the ride a little bit smoother. And again, maybe that's just my head playing with me. Um, but that's kind of how I feel. So we're gonna go off my gut reaction. And I would say that honestly, if you're gonna get a car like the C8 Corvette, that is, uh, I, I don't know what it starts at, 65 or whatever, but no one pays that, right? Everybody puts options and stuff on the car. If you're gonna spend that much money on a car, spend the extra couple grand and go ahead and get the magnetic ride control. It's not gonna make your ride worse, right? It's not. And it's gonna, if anything, it's gonna add value to the car. It's gonna make your ride a little bit better, a little bit more comfortable. And if you wouldn't notice it, like who cares? It's a couple grand. You're already dropping quite a bit of money on a car. So in my opinion, it'd be worth it if the option is out there to go ahead and get it. But for me, if like my allocation came up and magnetic ride control was not available at the time, 
I, I don't think I would wait until it was to order my car. Um, just because for me, I can't, I can't really notice and tell a big difference. But again, that's my opinion. Like it's a couple grand. It's worth it to just bite the bullet and get it if you can. And, uh, and kind of go from there. So that's my two cents. Both cars are Z51. Uh, the, again, the one I'm in right now, the orange one with the sky cool gray interior, uh, has magnetic ride control. The other one does not. Um, but they're both Z51, so I think they both have a similar suspension. But again, I, I don't know. Just faith in it, you know?